Welcome to another Replay Flights tutorial. This time I will analyze my paragliding flight and compare it to other pilots to try to figure out why my flying sucks so bad every time I go flying from St. Hilaire. Like this disaster of a flight two weeks ago. I thought it was going to be an epic day and it was, a couple of pilots flew huge triangles that day. Let me load the flights from Michael Zomerauer and Michel Servelin for comparison. So I took a day off from work, took the first bus from Grenoble at 10 am. I put on my warmest down jacket, even the down pants. And it was ridiculous because I spent all day around 1000 meters high and never really got much higher than that. Michael and Michel took off much earlier, they were already flying before I even got on the bus. But I want to compare my speed with them directly. So I click this button with the clock to synchronize the flights to the same takeoff time. Now they are displayed as if we took off at the same moment. And it's clear that they are flying faster, racing along the cliffs and not wasting time. Let me switch the map to higher quality here. I have the Pro subscription, so I can switch to the high resolution satellite map to see more details on this crossing over Grenoble city to the other side. And this is where the trouble starts. I thought I came here too late. You can see that the east facing cliffs are starting to be in a bit of a shade already. But I managed to climb, even a little bit higher than the others, because I was a bit nervous about the power lines here. Let me turn off the flight synchronization again, so we are back to showing the real timing of the flights. And uh, you see I kept pushing further, and I don't know why, but I never managed to climb high enough to continue. Although now I see that I was thermaling in pretty much the same places. But here's an interesting thing. See how in this spot, on the blue track, this thermal is drifting in one direction and then makes like a 90 degree turn and drifts in another direction. And it's the exact same altitude where I lost my thermal here. So maybe I should have preserved and kept looking for the core. But it's clear that next time I have to get to the takeoff earlier somehow and fly faster. Let's look at the historically best flights from Saint Hilaire to see how fast they were flying and when did they take off. These flights are actually a couple of years apart, so let's synchronize them with this calendar button, so they are displayed as if they were flown on the same day. And it's clear that uh, most people are able to climb in this spot. Let's check the thermal layer for spring thermals in the morning. And yeah, this is the biggest hotspot here. Also, this area is the next one that looks promising. So I guess I just should be more patient there next time. Congratulations to Michael and Michelle to their epic flights and thanks for giving me the permission to use their track logs. Also, thank you to everyone who got a pro subscription. It's five bucks a month, you get the high resolution maps. You can make scenes like this one that include more than five pilots and also a convenient recording button. But more about that one in the next tutorial for content creators. Do not miss that, please subscribe, be safe and have fun. Happy landings!